Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Welcome back to Beat Terrific's continuing coverage of CES 2017. We are here on the floor at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's day four, and you know, there are so many booths, so many exhibitors. Sometimes uh, things fall through the cracks, and sometimes that's because they're so small. We're here with uh, Scott Stevenson of Extreme Flyers. Uh, we're looking at, at the micro drone. Um, you know, this this... Looks like it might be one of those, uh, you know, $20 toys that you find at the shelf at Target, but uh, it is far from that. What do you got going on here? Well, this is uh, the crowdfunded, uh, world's most successfully crowdfunded campaign, uh, Micro Drone. We, uh, in, in just over a, a year, we raised over three and a half million dollars uh, to uh, on Indiegogo to go to, to fund our, our 3.0 with live streaming video, uh, and we. Since then, we've been working on uh, improving it and uh, innovating, and now we have a new development, which we were ex extremely excited to unveil for the first time here at CES 2017, which I wanted to share, share with you. Uh, it's the world's smallest gimbal. Uh, let me set this aside. So this is the standard model. Uh, let me just quickly explain to you. This is the camera. It's a fixed angle lens. When you're pointing down, you're looking at the ground, or when you're pointing up, you're looking at the sky. So with the new uh, gimbal, let me, let me pull that up right here. This is it right here. The, uh, it has a vertical axis stabilizer, and uh, unlike the other one, there's, it's, when you're going fast forward, the gimbal right here, it keeps pointing straight ahead. And when you're going backing up fast, again, the gimbal keeps the camera pointing straight ahead. The beauty of that is you never lose sight of where you're going uh, relative to uh, flying, and you get a much more stabilized view. So that's actually, we have a hybrid system, so it's stabilizing vertically, mechanically, as far as the laterals, it's being stabilized uh, where we've tapped it, we're tapping into the sensor data. And on our app, when, it, when the sensor data and the video is transferred back, it will actually stabilize laterally as well. So you get two axes of stabilization. We're super, super thrilled, super excited. People are like very amazed when they see this automatically keeping itself uh, pointing out. The other thing, sorry. Uh, that it's possible to do is using the remote control. Uh, you can click in and you can actually direct where the uh, where the thing is pointing to, where the camera is. So watch, I'll point it down, and now it's pointing down. And what's really remarkable is now it stays locked into that stable to stabilize it at that angle. So even if I start moving it side to side, it still stays in locked in at that angle. And you can point it up and you can point it down. So. Previously, with our, our with their standard model, you couldn't you couldn't direct it other than uh, you couldn't direct it up and down. Now you can with the with our. Uh, so that's amazing. I mean, I, we interviewed DJI the other day, and you know they have this technology packed into much larger, much more expensive drones. I mean, what is this thing going to cost? So the uh, final retail price is, has yet to be uh, fully established. Uh, we're targeting between two hundred twenty and two hundred thirty dollars on the U.S. market. And when when do you think this is going to come out? Uh, I've been informed it's between two and three months from from today. Not bad, two and three months. And is that going to be crowdfunded again? Uh, well, actually, we we used uh, the funds from the crowdfunding campaign to develop that. That was actually part of the, the campaign. We have to be honest; we were a little bit took a little bit longer to, to develop the, the technology. Granted, when you're you're doing uh, something the world that's the world's smallest, and you're innovating in terms of uh, in terms of something that's uh, hybrid. You know, in terms of mechanical and digital, uh, it's gonna, it takes a little, uh, a little bit of time to, to refine that kind of innovation, uh, make it, make it uh, market ready. Sorry. I mean, that's perfect. Uh, the micro drone, it's you know, it's a really cool thing where you have a drone that's uh, small enough to take anywhere, and certainly the drones keep getting smaller as technology does. But this is truly uh, about as small as it gets. Uh, I guess this is this is what's on the inside. Now, I'm, how about, how's our time? I've got one last thing I can quickly share with you. Uh, this is, uh, folks want to do drone racing now, FPV drone racing. That's really hot. So our system's based upon little modules. So we've come out with a little uh, kit that you can assemble. Sorry. Oh, let me see here. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I apologize for that. So we've come out with a little... Uh, module that you can assemble the, our little, uh, little, I'm sorry, little kit that you can assemble our little modules into a full-fledged uh, racer. So let me set this, set this down. 
I'll open this up. It's a bit like the old model airplanes, the model cars, where you have the little breakout plastic bits and then the carbon fiber frame. That combined with the, the motor modules and the, and the flight card uh, will allow you to, to assemble the, those modules into that racer and we'll soon be coming out with an analog video transmitter that you can send out uh, usually with your standard racing goggles to do full-fledged drone racing. So we're excited about that as well. And what controller does that use? Same one? It's going to use our, uh, it's going to be a, uh, oh yes, I'm sorry, that, that one will work with the, with the controller that's, that we have in our current Micro Drone 3.0 uh, model on the market. And I think that's such a cool thing, you know, people were so afraid of drones for so long because they were new and they were flying and they were cameras and nobody knew what was going on. I, I, I think it's really cool that you just break it down into such a simplistic system that anyone could do at home. It absolutely reminds you, I remember uh, those toy cars, you'd go and you have to cement the pieces together. And exactly, exactly. No, I, I just saw this uh, about uh, three or four days ago. And the moment I opened the box, I went, oh my gosh, I used to make models like that where I'd break out the pieces and put them all together. Here we are again uh, with that, doing that, that, kind of a, that kind of experience, but now for, for the, uh, the new generation, in a sense. That's really cool. And, and when is that going to be available? What's it going to cost? Uh, so the, our target is at mid-March for, for the new kit, and that's going to, the price, target price is $60 uh, for, that, for the, this little box right here with everything you need for it. The, the analog camera module, we haven't established a price for that yet, uh, but it, that'll sh should be a competitive, competitively priced as well. Now at sixty dollars, will that come with the remote? Um, I, you know, I, I I have not been informed about that. I would think uh, if if not, it's not going to be. A, we're probably not going to charge a premium for an additional remote. Um, I know one of the. Uh, the thinking behind it was to kind of make that available for folks who already own the, the standard model, but uh, eventually I would I would imagine there will be a kit that includes the controller as well. Amazing. Where can we find out more information on Micro Drone? Oh, uh, it's real easy. Microdrone.co.uk. Real easy. We're a London-based company, so we've got a .co.uk web address. Real easy to find us. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be posting more information, uh, particularly on our blog. There's a link on our blog. If you go onto our blog, you'll get uh, updates uh, about the, our, our uh, upcoming developments and upcoming uh, announcements and rollouts. Sorry. <laughs> Amazing. Another great company coming out of London here at CES 2017. We're gonna. Oh, one more. Can I say one last thing. You folks were really. Uh, uh, you folks figured in our, our crowdfunding campaign, and we wanted to uh, on camera thank you for having uh, been a part of that uh, that experience. It was, went way beyond our wildest dreams that we raised three and a half million dollars. Our initial target was seventy thousand dollars, and uh, it's thanks partially and due to your folks' participation in our campaign video. I think that we did so well as well. Thank you very much. Of course, Be Terrific has been a part of Micro Drone. We. Uh, Met with them a while back, and three and a half million dollars is an incredible amount of money for any company to raise in any kind of crowdfunding campaign. We're very uh, thankful for our backers. Also, we're very thankful for backers. We apologize for the delays. We're, we're doing our best to to roll things out to uh, to particularly with with respect to the the gimbal to, to meet the the our our, um, our obligations, not our obligations, but our commitments with that. Sorry. Yes. Absolutely. And we're going to go back upstairs to Michael. Michael standing by. Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017.